Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, to start things off today, I got this uh, small array of three 100 watt monocrystalline solar panels tied in series going into that uh, new little standalone system that I was talking about yesterday. So, just got these up and running and they're doing great. And right here is where those solar panels are coming in to this uh, solar panel isolator. The charge controller, Victron 7515. And as you can see by that green light, it's in float mode right now. The battery is pretty full. I only used it a little bit last night. And since it's all a great solar day today, I figured I'd go ahead and do the next part of this. And I'll show you a little bit on the Victron app, what things look like in comparison. So right there you can see on my battery shunt, 100% full. Here on the uh, Victron app, you can see it's taking exactly zero watts to hold it at 13.75. It's, it's going down just just holding it right there for its float and every now and then it'll let in like one watt or so anyway uh, and the battery we're talking about is this power queen 12.8 volt 200 amp hour uh, plus battery that's uh, a, a really nice size battery and that's what we're going to use in the demonstration today just thought I'd show you what it looked like with those panels hooked up uh, it like I said, was so darn near full, it didn't take long to get back into float mode, so. And for the demonstration, we're gonna plug in this 20 cubic foot LG inverter compressor uh, refrigerator freezer. It's a really nice size uh, refrigerator and freezer. It's packed full. And if you watched my earlier video where I used a 100 amp hour uh, lithium iron phosphate that didn't have any power tied into it. I was curious how long that would run this and it got about 24 hours we could call it. But the difference in this next video is we're going to run this thing 24-7 uh, with that 200 amp hour power queen as storage and 300 watts of solar and we're going to see how long uh, it'll run. So ideally, I think I'm, I'm sized just about right to uh, uh, maybe another 100 watt uh, panel to where I'd be running 400 watts would keep up in the types of conditions that uh, I get here, which are a lot of cloudy, partly cloudy days. If you were living in a, a place with absolute sustained sunshine, I'm thinking 300 watts coming into this and running that uh, refrigerator freezer would probably be pretty close to just uh, being able to do that all by itself with that amount of power coming in. As we're coming into, you know, hurricane season and there's always wind and weather knocking out people's power and the one thing that they always want to make sure that they have up and running is that refrigerator and freezer. And I know a lot of people that rely on generators but I'm just uh, hopeful that this might give you another thing to think about because this is a generator not using any gasoline. Uh, gasoline, of course, as everybody knows, is, is very expensive. And I'm thinking that I'm gonna be pretty close to being able to run uh, that refrigerator uh, sustained off of this uh, if the weather cooperates. And we're coming into a more sunny uh, time of the year. It has been dark and rainy for a while, which uh, would have hampered this. And, but we're going to take this down and then when I absolutely have to, if I have to, uh, Power Queen has sent out this 14.6 uh, volt 20 amp uh, charger that I can tie into this and supplement it if I need uh, with the solar. I'm going to go over all the specs of this, this thing in a future video. Uh, probably when I absolutely have to use it, but I'm going to let that solar run for a while 
And I'll show you what that looks like as soon as we plug the uh, refrigerator in. And that's going to be happening right now. Okay, I just plugged that uh, refrigerator in and you can see currently coming in off those uh, panels, uh, zero watts. It's in float, taking very little to keep it at the float. Every now and then it just lets in a watt or two for like one split second. So, let's come on up here, turn the uh, inverter on. And what I'm thinking is, is every time I've unplugged that refrigerator and freezer and then plugged it back in, it starts up the automatic defrost mode, which will be a good test to, to do here. So let's turn it on. And we'll come up here to this watt meter. Get it on the right one. And it's reading 122.2 volts. Just 1.3 watts right now, so it's not letting in anything. Uh, that refrigerator will kick on in a minute and the things will uh, start to let that solar back in. So it didn't do what I thought it would do is, is uh, start that automatic defrost. But I'll come back in a second when uh, that refrigerator kicks on and we can see what uh, the solar panels are doing and the, the state of charge in the batteries. What it's doing is, if I look right here, there is uh, just a 0.5 amp draw. Still reading 100% full, of course. 199.9 amp hours. So everything's good. 13.71 is the battery voltage in float. So we'll wait for this thing to kick on. Okay, the refrigerator just kicked on into its normal cycle. It's drawing 70.6 watts. That's just about perfect and what it normally does uh, for when it's drawing. You know, it comes on intermittently, those uh, those compressor type refrigerators, inverter compressor, sorry that word eluded me for a minute, 65 watts. So now I want to take a look at the uh, the app on Victron and see what it's doing. Yeah, 65 amp or 65 watts coming in. And right here now it's opened up the panels, letting 30, 31 watts go in. So it is just opening up what it needs to keep this uh, battery over here. The, the Queen Power 200 amp hour battery. It's letting in just what it needs to right now. Uh, man, I'm loving that. The Victron is just uh, amazing. It makes it so easy. Exactly what's going on with your battery. What's going on with the sun. Very happy. And this app lines up uh, very closely with this uh, Ilee or QWark battery monitor. Uh, it's reading 13.55. Sorry for the glare. It's kind of a hard angle to get. There we go. 13.55 on the battery monitor. And yeah, 13.55, 13.56 uh, on the Victron. So they're both so close. Really good. So we're fully charged. Now we're going to just uh, let this refrigerator do its thing. And we're going to see if I can keep up with that for uh, as long as I can. I think it's going to be a pretty good replacement for what that thing uses. I have a really good idea for how much uh, power uh, we're using here. And in a typical daily cycle, uh, go into about uh, not quite 20% of a 600 amp hour bank. So 
roughly 100 amp hours in a 24 hour cycle is what the drawdown is. I would say a majority of that is the refrigerator since it runs 24 7. So I think this is going to be close. 300 watts of solar coming into this queen power uh, being regulated with that Victron. Yeah, this is going to be fun. We're going to see what it does. I have high hopes for this battery and this whole system. Everything's working exactly as it should. And that's always nice. I always hold my breath every time I turn something on for the first time after I've built it. And like I said, we're going to just check in periodically. See how this 300 watts is keeping up with this, running that refrigerator freezer. It might give you all something to think about. Uh, especially those of you... Uh, if you ever want to have an emergency backup generator, but also if you're living off grid, this is a good way to go. And when absolutely need be, we'll plug this charger in. I really like the looks of this and the feel of it. It's got some great clips on it. So we'll use that to supplement this when needed and come back for that. So I was originally planning to wait a few days to do this experiment. But all the uh, solar gods lined up for me, had a great day, no rain, and got the solar tied into that little system. I think it's going to be a fun system to experiment with. I'm very confident about that Queen's Power battery, so we're going to run it. Anyway, thanks for checking in everybody. Aloha. Yeah, beautiful day, perfect. This is normal for us here, this is absolutely normal. For those of you that have like more sustained sunshine, it would even work better, but this is like about as good as we get and it should be fine. Okay, bye bye now.